the use of rovers to explore the surface of Mars is extremely relevant and helpful for science purposes because it gives us the unique opportunity to be on the surface of the planet and being able to do science on site. Although science is the primary uh, purpose of the missions, it's still extremely important that we are able to navigate in a safe way and when I say safe, I mean like in a way that it's safe for the instruments on the rover and it's safe for the rover itself. In fact, the one thing that we want to avoid is for the rover to get stuck because in that scenario, basically we lose the ability to sample different areas of the planets and therefore we limit our science to a single location which basically defies the purpose of having a rover on the surface of Mars. For this reason we are studying the performance of a single wheel in order to understand how this wheel develops traction on the most challenging terrains. The experiments that we perform in our lab are used to collect data regarding torque and dropper and sinkage that the wheel experiences while driving on soft terrain. And we use this information to calibrate our software, which is called Artemis, in order to simulate the drives of the rover. Then we use this software to simulate the drives on the surface of Mars, and we can use the information coming back from the real rover on Mars in order to understand how well we did and if we need to make any modification to the model. One of the worst things that can happen is that you keep going when actually you should have stopped because sinkage is a vicious effect. When you start sinking down, the more you try to get out of the situation, the more you usually end up sinking. So, fortunately, we have all these sensors on the rover that gives us the opportunity to monitor the situation. Unfortunately, not in real time because there is a time delay between Earth and Mars. But at the same time, it's unique, the opportunity to have the data coming back from Mars and being able to analyze it and essentially make sure that the model that we are using to simulate the drive is realistic and it's actually working.